Hi everybody, it's Eric, your science teacher. Today we're going to learn a little bit more about how fossils were made and we're going to see some of the model fossils that we made together. Parts of this video you've seen before and other parts are new. Over the summer, I went to the beach. I went for a walk. And as I walked, I saw some interesting things in the sand. Daddy. Just choking. A few months later, my family and I went kayaking and walking along the Potomac River. And there we saw similar things. What do you notice that we saw? At first they look like rocks, but when we look more closely, they look like what? So the rocks look like shells and we know that the shells are fossils. Let's look for a little more and then we can see the story of how these fossils were made. The mountains in this picture are just a few hours from Washington, D.C. Let's take a closer look at Hi, everybody. I'm coming to you today from Shenandoah National Park, which is in the Appalachian Mountains. These mountains are really, really tall. It took us almost two hours to hike to the top from the parking lot, and actually, we're not even at the top yet. It'll probably take us another hour. So they're really, really tall mountains, but guess what? These mountains used to be much, much taller. They were so tall, in fact, that if I wanted to hike these mountains 200 million years ago, it would have taken me three weeks. If we were looking out here 200 million years ago, these mountains would be so high that an airplane couldn't fly by. So now the mountains look like this, but a long time ago, they used to look like this. Very, very tall with lots more land than they have today. All of the land near Washington, D.C., all of the ground, all of the dirt, all of that ground used to be part of these mountains when these mountains were so, so tall. So how did the mountains come down? How did the land that used to be on top of the mountains get to near GDS, where it could cover up all those shells and make fossils? If you think the land got washed down by the rivers, you're right. Rivers are one of the ways that mountains got washed down. Sometimes small rivers washed little pieces of sand and small rocks, and sometimes great big rivers can wash lots of sand and lots of rocks. Sometimes wind or snow or rain would push rocks down the mountain, and as they did, as they fell down the mountain, they would crumble into little pieces. Those little pieces of rock and dirt created all of the land near the school. The land under the buildings, the land by the big toy, the land in our neighborhood, and even the land near the park. and our mighty Potomac River washed some of that sand and rock down, creating new land that covered up the shells and turned them into fossils. So the land here by GDS 
used to be the bottom of a very, very tall mountain, the ones that I showed you in the other part of the video. And the rain and the rivers and the streams washed little pieces of dirt and sand and rocks down the mountains, covering up all the fossils that were on the beach, which used to be right near GDS. So the dirt and the rocks were washed down the mountain and they covered up the shells, helping start to turn them into fossils. Now let's take a look at two different ways that fossils can be made.